hi there so i'm gonna go ahead and upload the image i got it off the internet i just put olaf clip art and i went with this one i'm gonna choose complex and click continue you have to click where it says more options and then the color tolerance you have to play around um and see which one's best i tried 50 and it was too much because it was also getting the black outline so i tried 25 and that one was better so then I just clicked on everything that was brown, the arms, and then the little hair, as well as the background. And then I changed the tolerance to 75 to do the rest of the body. I'm clicking on everything that is not black. Okay, and then once I select everything, I went ahead and click preview so I could see that make sure all the lines are connecting and there's no open gaps. And once it's good, just click apply and save it as a cut image. Insert it to canvas. So I'm starting off with the first layer, which is the back one. And for that, it's just clicking hide all contour and leaving it black. Then duplicate that one and change it to white. This is going to be the body. And I'm going to select on everything that is white on the Olaf image. So the face and then the, the body, the feet, the mouth, the eyes. And this is where you click on the eyes and then you click on the inside of the eye. So it could cut off and leave it black. Um, for some reason, the images right here on the side of the panel are not matching the ones I'm selecting. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on on the body one also click the buttons so it could cut out and come out black so you don't have to cut an extra layer of black because the background is already black so when you put when you layer it on top of the black that's already covering the eyeballs and the buttons so I forgot this one of the sticks so I'm just gonna go back and select it so now I'm selecting the black one again and duplicating it so you could keep moving it to the side or you could just leave it on top this one will be brown for the hair and the hands so just repeat the steps select on everything that is the brown parts and then you'll have to select the the whole image so it could delete the back Okay, so if you could send it to cut like this, um, it's going to waste all that space and material. So what I do is I take another shape like a square. I lay it over one of the parts, select everything and slice and delete the gray. Now these two are still connected together. So I'm going to do the same step with one of them. So you could use the same square to slice it or you could get a new shape. Just make sure it's not touching the other arm um, because it will slice it too. So once you have it in place, go ahead and select both of them and click slice again. I'm going to group it just so I can move it around together. But once I send it to cut, it's going to cut um, closer together. So to continue, I'm going to go ahead and click on the black layer and duplicate it. And I just realized that I forgot one of the eyebrows on his face <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and click on the white one and then click contour and then just click on the little eyebrow that's the good thing about contour that you could always go back if you miss something um select it again or deselect it and there it is he has two eyebrows now so for the next one it's going to be the nose which is orange and just selecting everything that's orange select the whole background so it removes so depending on the material that you're using obviously it's going to look different once it's all cut out and like I mentioned, you don't need black because once you cut out the white, it's going to cut out the holes. And then the holes are going to be the black. And there you go. Next step is just to resize it. And then like I mentioned, here are the arms. And then you can move them around and save a little more material. So hope this video helped you. If not, go ahead and message me. Um, find me on Instagram and we could talk more there.